and welcome to this first episode of our in-depth video series on the upcoming DCS F14A and B Tomcat by Heatler Simulations. I'm Nick and I'm here with Daniel, our lead engineer. We spent the last three years researching and building the flight model of the Tomcat. It really is the foundation of the whole aircraft. The Tomcat is a pilot's airplane. It's very hands-on at all times. The rudimentary analog flight of the station system helps you to some of the unwanted characteristics, but the Tomcat will keep you, as a pilot, on your toes at all times. Wing spoilers provide roll input, with elevons providing both pitch and roll changes. The wing also features leading edge slats for low speeds and high angles of attack. And of course, there's the two large rudders on the vertical stabilizers. The Tomcat has a roll rate of roughly 180 degrees per second. Spoiler actuators are fast acting deploying in less than a second, but as you can see here, the aircraft does suffer from significant adverse and perverse jaw during roll. The F-14 was one of the first fighters to retain good nose point ability during high angle of attack flight, but getting the most out of the F-14 will require plenty of practice. Let's do a couple of low speed, high angle of attack turns to illustrate. High angle of attack flight is characterized by airframe buffet, wing drop and jaw. Here we're building up the alpha quickly to demonstrate this behavior. During turns at lower alpha, the behavior is much more manageable, but finding the sweet spot is very challenging. Recovery from a departure is fairly easy, as long as the thrust remains symmetric. Asymmetric thrust can easily lead to a deadly flat spin, possibly heading out to sea, possibly pinning you to the canopy, and worse. The F-14B accelerates rapidly and the automatic wing controllers will begin to automatically sweep the wings to their optimal position. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for episode 2.